hey what's going on guys my name is jim fad in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful reflection effect using elementor page builder also i will show you how to work with perspective effect and rotation effect like here in this image you see i have applied some perspective effect and when i hover over on it it becomes flat i will show you both how to work with this perspective and also how to create this reflection effect using elementor page builder all right so without further ado let's now go inside elementor page builder Okay, so let's first take a section and I'm selecting three column structure. Now first let's give it a height from here. I'm giving it a minimum height and I'm setting its height to 100 VH. Now let's give it a background color from under style tab. So from here background type, I'm selecting a color from the color picker. So from here I'm selecting the black blue color. Now within this middle column, I will put an image widget here. So just click on this plus icon and drag an image widget within this middle column. Alright, let's now select the image. I'm selecting one of my images. So let's select this one and click on insert media. Alright, let's now add the glass effect with it. So to add it, just go under advanced tab and we need to apply some custom CSS with it. So let's just open the custom CSS tab. By the way, custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I will put Elementor Pro purchase link in the description. If you don't have Elementor Pro already, you can purchase the Elementor Pro from the description link. All right, let's now write some custom CSS code inside the custom CSS field. But no worries because I already have written the custom CSS code for you. All you need to do, you just need to go to jimfahaddigital.com. I will put this pages link in the description. From that page, if you just scroll down, here you can see a very simple line of CSS. So it's under reflection effect CSS. I'm just copying this CSS snippet from here. Now go inside Elementor page builder and paste the CSS snippet here. And boom, here you can see the beautiful reflection effect underneath the image. By the way, not only with images, you can apply this with any columns or any other card design. Okay, and you can have also the access for changing the opacity of this reflection effect. You can do this from here. You see, I have set the opacity to 0.5, but if you want to reduce the opacity, so you can do that from here instead of 0 0.5, I'm making it 0 0.2 you see it's now less visible then if you want to increase its opacity then from here you just need to increase the number here for example i'm putting here 0 0.8 now it's more visible but i would like to have 0 0.5 it looks much better in my opinion all right so that's basically it about reflection effect now let's have some fun with it now with this image i want to apply some perspective effect so to do it again just go to jimfahaddigital.com here under rotation effect css just copy this whole css snippet from here and now go inside elementor page builder now after our existing css just hit enter to make some spaces and then paste the css snippet code here now if we have a look okay let me just minimize the elementor bar from left you see the perspection of the image has been changed also it's rotated a bit from its initial position now if we hover over on it it becomes the flat design all right now let me show you how you can play with it just expand the elementor builder now to show the css snippet easily i'm just increasing the width of the elementor builder here okay so here the first thing i have applied that's the perspective so i set it to 800 but instead of 800 let's say if you set it to 200 and remember you need to apply the values on these two because one is for the default browser and another one is for cross browser supported okay so perspective here i'm putting the value to 200 and also let's put the value here 200 you see the perspective has been changed to 200 from 800 pixel and that's why it's looking like it at this moment also you can change its rotation from this place so i made the rotation to 20 degree but if you want let's say for example you can make it 50 degree also let's change the rotation y from here let's make it 50 degree as well so now the rotation has been also changed from 20 degree to 50 degree okay but it looks super weird so i don't want that let's make the perspective to initial 800 also here make the perspective to 800 and rotation i'm making a 20 degree also here 20 degree right now it looks decent and when we hover over on it so you can see here on selector hover i have made the rotator y to zero degree that's why when we hover over on it it becomes flat all right when you are happy with it just click on this green update button to save your work 
I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Also press on that bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. And if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you on the next video. For now, bye-bye.